Cassie and I am back with another speed build. So today we are going to build a girly house which is going to be called Ivory's Girly Home named after one of my supporters Bubblegum Gaming who's been supporting my channel and I wanted to name a house after them so here it is. I really hope you like it and if there's a house that you want named after yourself, one of your family members, one of your friends then just let me know on this video because I'll be picking my next name really really soon and that should be coming out. It's just something that I'm doing on my channel and something that I'm really enjoying to do. So anyway, this is a really girly house. This is gonna be really pink and pretty. At first, I didn't know it was gonna be like that, but what happened was I was debating whether to do a review with the new stuff pack that came out, the new romantic garden stuff. I decided against it because I thought it would be better if I did a build with most of the items that are from there so you could see it if you wanted to anyway. So that was my idea. Instead of doing a review, I would do a build of the stuff. So I guess that's why it turned out to be pretty feminine by the end. But then again, I did ask my fiance if he liked it and he said, yes, he did. <laughs> but he does like pink, he does. So I'm not sure, but anyway, that was my idea. But this was when I was trying to design the entrance. I was thinking a lot about whether I would put one of the beautiful archways that we got with it over it and I would have the door going through. But to be honest, I thought it looked a little bit like a mustache. So I left it out and I actually put one of those around the back and it went really well around there, but it just didn't go at the front. Maybe I'll try that again at some point in another one of my builds, but I just wasn't feeling it, so I did leave that out. At this point, I was thinking a lot about the shape of the build though. I don't often build on plots like this. It's a long 40 by 30 instead of a wide one. So it was a little bit difficult for me to build such a big house and still make it nice. But I definitely wanted it on one of these long 40 by 30 plots because I wanted a really big garden at the back. And usually when I build on the wide 40 by 30s, it's not very good because what happens is I build the house itself. It's really big, really wide. But then I have no garden space, so I thought for this one it would be a nice idea if I used this plot. So that's what I did. I was thinking a lot about the colours at this point. I put the brown stone there even though I didn't end up using it in the end. But what actually happened was I built a modern home, I think maybe a couple of days ago now. It's a bit strange because I built that one before this house, but I'm probably going to be sharing it in about a week. So that's the modern house and I really liked it from that. But then I thought, no, I can't make them too similar, so I'll have to change it in a little bit. So that's what I was doing. I was also playing around with the panelling, thinking about whether to have blue panelling, whether or not to have a pink door, which was probably too girly. Now I'm thinking about it, but I did change that in the end as well. I had it being white at this point, but I still didn't go with that door. I chose a different one within the end, which I was really happy with. But then I was just adding some windows around the house. I really adore those long windows. I can use them in almost every single one of my builds. I just absolutely love them because they go with everything. So they made a humongous appearance in this build just because I love them so much. But this was the point when I was adding the brand new ivy. So this was one of the things that I used from the new Romantic Garden stuff pack. Now I'm not fantastic with names, so I'm not sure if that's what new stuff pack's called. That's probably why I decided against doing a review because I can't even think the name properly but either way I put it in there and I really liked it I thought that the green went really well we have all different colors of it as well which I really adore and I think look really amazing it's probably got to be one of my favorite things about new stuff pack because it's something that I can use a lot and repeatedly in my builds because it's something that I'm not just going to use one time and then just throw away it's something that I will have and I'll be able to keep and reuse it over and over and over again until I get really bored of it so that's what I'm thinking so I can't remember if I put all the items on this build from the new stuff pack but if I didn't then you'll still be able to find it when I start filtering out items and you'll be able to see it on the bar below hopefully it will be there. But at this point, I was changing around the window colors. I was thinking whether to go for brown and I just couldn't decide. I was thinking about maybe changing the wallpaper as well. That was something that was really playing on my mind because I was thinking, I just don't like that for this build. I didn't like that stone color. In fact, I've just used it for one of my other builds and I thought, no, I don't want to repeat it. So I tried to change it and the color of the build was something that really, really took me quite a while to decide. And I decided it pretty much towards the end that I would go for maybe two or three different colors, which I really liked. So that's what I did. But I put the really big window that we got with the new stuff pack at the front and I also put one left and right because I absolutely 
absolutely adore it. It's on my favorite windows already and it's gonna look absolutely amazing when I do some suburban houses, like American suburban homes, something like that. I think it's gonna look really good in white or something. So I will definitely be doing that in the future. But I was just adding the last details. What I did do was, because I was a little bit unhappy with this particular lighting on this plot, I did actually change this house to a different plot in Willow Creek because I was feeling like the lighting was a bit bad here and it could be improved. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes I'll start building on a plot and then I'll just change halfway through. And if you've got a really bad gallery photo that you want to change and you wanna make it a little bit better, a little bit brighter, then sometimes just changing the plot can actually help. Of course, it does depend on the time of day as well. But what I really disliked about this plot was even though it was afternoon, I think it was about one or two o'clock in the afternoon, it still wasn't looking really nice at the front because the light wasn't hitting it properly. So that is why I changed it and you will see that a little bit. But what I was doing is I was just changing the colors slightly at the front. I was putting some white by the windows and I think that looks a lot better like that. So that was pretty nice. I was also starting to put the soil around and getting ready to do some landscaping because that was the bit that I always, always look forward to. I love landscaping. It's one of my favorite parts. And especially as we get so, so many new items with the new stuff pack, I wanted to try them out. I wanted to see what they're like there and I really liked it. Had a lot of fun doing this part. I tried to mix the peach color with the blue color, even though I don't keep this blue and peach theme in the end. But I think that I definitely want to go back to that at some point and maybe do a blue and peach house because I think that would look really amazing and I've just got to see what happens in the future. So at the moment we are in Willow Creek. We have just moved. It took me quite a while to move actually but I'm glad that I did it. But what I was doing here is I was putting some more landscaping in. I decided that the white plants look particularly special and what I was doing is I was enlarging them as well so some of them look almost as big as the trees but I do like that and it's really strange though because I mentioned I think maybe in my last video or the last video before my last video I mentioned that I really liked foxglove and one of the plants really looks like a piece of foxglove and I really liked that but at this point I was going around the back I was putting some base game landscaping around because I didn't want it too fancy around here and I think that this is a style which I still adore I will always love and I will always use so if you did have the base game and only the base game and you did want this house of course you would have have to change an insane amount of things you'd have to change the windows the wallpapers the landscaping but it's doable it's actually doable if you wanted to do it you could do it of course and you still have the shape of the house you could change some colors around maybe use some paints instead of wallpapers or stones and it could still look pretty good just depending on what you want so that's what I did I like to use some base game things in case there's that because sometimes I know that if you use a whole house which is completely from an expansion or a stuff pack or a game pack when somebody downloads it that doesn't have those things it can look really really plain without it so I made sure to try and mix the two styles as best as I could but I will be doing a base game home at some point in fact in the next couple of weeks I've built one already but I just need to release it so that should be coming out along with a modern home as well so that should be pretty fun this point I was putting around some ivy I love 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 that pink ivy I think it looks absolutely gorgeous but I was trying to limit myself and not go too crazy with it because I didn't want to take away from the beauty of the house this was the garden bit so this was a bit that I was really looking forward to because I was thinking about all the items that we got with the new stuff pack which I could potentially use in this part of it which really kept me going and I had a lot of fun with doing when the time was right and I could potentially use those things but at this point what I was doing is I was putting in some soil I was trying to work out where I'd want the pool area I already decided that I wanted a sort of circular pool maybe we can't have circular but something a little bit similar to that idea for the pool and something a little bit unique not square that was what I was thinking for the pool I wanted something rounded so that's what I went for you'll see that in a little bit but what I was doing is I was putting some more soil around the garden just to make sure that I knew what I was doing because sometimes if I don't do that I can go so overboard and I have to end up deleting some plants which I didn't want to do because sometimes I do, I just go a bit crazy with it and I just can't control myself. I just get absolutely crazy with the landscaping and I end up making the plants probably bigger than the house sometimes. But didn't do that this time. I was very careful with it so that the garden didn't look too covered. 
But I think that at some point, what I will do is I will do a secret garden, which will look really over the top and really adventurous and stuff, or at least that's what I'm hoping. So I'll probably be doing that, I'm guessing, in the next couple of weeks. I want to experiment with doing parks as well, because parks are something that I haven't done yet. So yes, I will be doing all those fun things, but at this point, you know, I'm just, just kind of focusing on houses to begin with. But anyway, so what I was doing is I was putting some rocks around because I wanted the rocks to look very neat and I didn't want them to be really uneven or anything. Sometimes I like to make them uneven, but I thought for this house, it wouldn't look that nice and even. I wanted them to look really, really perfect. So that's what I did there. I was happy with how they turned out, but what I did is I went around all this landscaping with the rocks, not just one bit of it, or two bits of it I went round all of it which gave a really lovely effect I thought anyway and I was really happy with it had a lot of space left in the garden afterwards as well so there is lots and lots of possibilities with what you could potentially do with this garden if you wanted to you will see me filter out some items from the new stuff pack as we go so that's what I meant I mean when I was just getting the archway there you would have just seen a brief cut of what was actually available. So, I mean, if you're still undecided about whether to get it or not, you can kind of see it whilst I'm building. So at this point, I was putting in the pool. I thought that the pool would look really amazing in that shape, so that's what I went with. I was trying to figure out what pool colour I'd like for the water, but I thought that blue looked really, really nice. I thought that the rose petals was probably just too over the top for this build, and I thought that it didn't go very well. I thought with the amount of roses and flowers I had in the garden already, I just wasn't feeling it, so I didn't do that. But I added some items, I added the children's climbing frame, which I have to admit to everybody, I was not overly excited about when we got it, because we already have one with a base game, and I thought for the stuff pack, I would have really, really appreciated a slide or a swing for children instead of that because I just thought it was a bit of a repeat of what we already have. But I still like it and I still included it in the back garden, which I was still happy with. And I was putting some trees around and making sure that it looked natural in the back. And what I was doing at this point is I was getting ready to put in the lights. So I was putting some lights just around to make sure that it really lit up at night and that this house was usable throughout the day and that the sims could use it at night, they could go in the pool at night if they wanted to, so that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna move around to the back at this point and put some lighting around so you can see it. And it looks a little bit like a fairy tale house, which I just absolutely adore and that is one of my favorite things about this build. What I was doing though is I was thinking about how I could potentially put some lights on the front because it's important to do that as well to actually light the building up, not just the plants. So I didn't want to forget about the building itself. So I just quickly put some lights around and I was pretty happy with how that bit turned out. What I was doing here is I was changing the pathway to the brick colour just to match the wallpaper at the front of the build that that has and I liked it. I really liked that bit. I thought that it gave a nice effect. But that is the end of the build so I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you all for part two. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.